Everyone, according to Dave McMinnon, the Lakers players led minicamp tipped off in San Diego this morning. Every player on the roster is present, source told ESPN. Training camp opens up officially on Monday with Media Day in El Segundo. So it looks like all of the players that are currently on the roster are there, including Russell Westbrook. Um, so based on this, it's very likely that this is the roster that we have in place. Uh, you know, you got uh, Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly, Dennis Schroeder, you know, Kendrick Nunn, Austin Reeves, uh, Walker, you got LeBron, Davis, Bryant, uh, Damian Jones, uh, JTA, you know, you, you got Troy Brown Jr. And then the one roster spot very likely doesn't get filled. So that way the Lakers buy out market, guys that get waived, stuff like that. You can kind of fill in that, that hole, fill in that void. Now, this team, there's a lot of questions with it, right? If this is the team that we ultimately go into this season with, I'm for it. You know, one, what what other what other choice and options do we have? I'm going to support the Lakers. I'm going to ride with the Lakers. Good day, bad day, whatever it is. You know, I'm not a, a, a casual fan. I'm not a, oh, when the Lakers are good. You know, that I believe you're in and you're out. This team is the team that I'm going with. I got LeBron James. I got Anthony Davis. If Russell Westbrook can figure it out, they have a legit big three. I will take my chances if they can get to the playoffs. Probably would have made the playoffs last year if the Anthony Davis and LeBron James could have stayed healthy. I'll take my chances. I like this team. I'll ride with this team. I've stuck up for this team. I've talked about how, you know, they compare to the bubble team. I've even broken it down statistically. I mean, look at the channel. I have several videos basically breaking down all these players, things like that. We'll we'll start breaking down, uh, you know, positions and things like that uh, in the in the coming days as we get closer into training camp. And then, of course, as we hear word from training camp, stuff like that. But nonetheless, look, this roster means we're probably not getting a trade. Now, I don't believe the Lakers are operating on LeBron's mini camp deadline. You know, so training camp starts Monday. You have media day. If a deal doesn't happen this weekend, then it's probably not happening. I, I just think if the Lakers don't get a deal done today or by Sunday, I think that's it. I don't think the Lakers are going to go into media day, have, Le have Westbrook there, do all that stuff, show face, this, that, and the other, and then, you know, then do a deal. Not saying that they won't, not saying, you know, if the right deal is on the table, they will, but the Lakers gave training, damp d training day uh, as a deadline for a Russell Westbrook trade, and if Monday comes and we don't have a trade uh, by, like, Monday morning, early Monday morning, I think that's it. There's no way that they're going to have Russell Westbrook there. Or, here, let me put it like this. If Russell Westbrook is at media day, then a trade isn't happening. Now, if they go to media day and Westbrook isn't there, then that's probably a good sign. But if he shows up to, to media day and Russell Westbrook is there and he's taking pictures and he's smiling and all this kumbaya, then I, I think a trade's off the table. I don't think it happens. So that gives the Lakers a couple days. Not saying a trade will happen. I'm not saying that, you know, the Lakers... I'm actually glad Rob Palinka has stood pat that he stayed patient. I know some people feel otherwise, but there, it's better to do no trade than a bad trade. And all of these trades are bad trades. We don't know what will happen, you know, a month from now, six months from now, four months from now, this offseason. You know, worst case, we have all of our assets, some new ones open up, and we'd have cap space. So... There's possibilities there. There's, you know, always the the ever hanging fruit that is Kyrie Irving, you know, whether he comes or not. You know, who knows? Who knows? And a lot of people are like, well, you're punting the season. How do we know that? You know, we don't know what this team is going to be able to do. You got a new coach with new systems, new culture, new everything. If we had this team currently that we have in this offseason, we added LeBron James and Anthony Davis, even if they had the seasons they had last year, the entire world would be talking about the Lakers being a legit contender, and they'd probably be the favorites in the NBA to win it. But because we have the the LeBron James and Anthony Davis hangover is you know cleared, and you know the honeymoon stage is over, people just write this team off immediately. Look, if a trade happens, great. If we can pull off a deal, move Westbrook, get a Buddy Heald to Miles Turner, great. I don't want the Lakers to give up all their assets to do it. You know, if they can figure it out to where it makes sense, great. I don't think it's going to happen based on Utah Jazz or Bust for quite some time. Now, could another deal develop? Of course. 
Absolutely. Could something happen? Of course, absolutely. There's always that possibility. You know, nothing's guaranteed unless you, you're speaking to Rob directly or you're in those rooms. Nobody knows what is going on. You know, there's always constantly stuff going on behind the scenes. But the Lakers are very specific on what they want in a deal. And all these other teams are trying to fleece the Lakers as much as humanly possible. We just saw that with the Bogdanovich deal, right? I mean, they were trying to gut the Lakers for a first-round pick, and they gave up Bogdanovich for a bag of peanuts. You know, like, it's 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 not... The Lakers tax is a real thing, you know? And so I'd rather the Lakers just stand pat, move into the season, go, in and, go into the season with the belief system, uh, you know, build that chemistry, do all those things, you know, and, and let's, let's see what happens. Let's see how this goes. I will take my chances. These three, if they can figure it out, these three are, nobody wants to play the Lakers. If these three can figure it out, we're fine. It's just going to come down to these three. Hopefully, if they can stay healthy, you get another season under your belt. Perfect. You know, look, LeBron and Miami didn't win the first year. Yeah, they made it to the finals, but they got beat by a Dallas Mavericks team that had Dirk Nowinski just playing like he was the second coming of Jordan and a bunch of role guys that were old. You know, like nobody at that time thought Dallas was going to do anything, let alone make it to the finals and win and beat that star-led LeBron Miami team. And then the next year, you saw they figured it out. They, they were they were just more efficient, more effective. They were just more dominant. It just, that could happen. I'm not saying that this will happen with this Lakers team, but it very well could. You know, Westbrook, LeBron, Davis, the professionals. These three wanted to team up together. And look, all of us, we all knew it wasn't going to work, and it wasn't a good fit the moment they made the trade. But every single one of us wanted the story of Russell Westbrook going home to L.A. and bringing a championship to the Lakers. You know, so let's hope that this happens. If the Lakers are a train wreck, then they're a train wreck, and we'll talk about it then. You know, but I don't, I don't want to operate on the assumption that this team is terrible when we haven't even seen them play a game yet. Let's wait and see what happens? What if they what if they beat the Warriors and they beat the they beat the Clippers and start the season 2 and 0 on a back to back? Everybody, even the people that are like this team sucks, they're all going to come out of their, you know, mom's bedroom and say, "Oh, look, I knew the Lakers would get like no, you did it. You were this you were the guy that was sitting there saying that the Lakers were trash and the Lakers were terrible. I'm not saying that they are going to be I, I'm operating on the assumption of I don't know. I don't know, and you can't guarantee either way. You don't know whether this team could be absolutely just dog shit, like, or this team could be something really good. You know, this team could, and then we get into the playoffs. And you have Anthony James, Lebr- Anthony James, LeBron, <laughs> Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook, and they're leading the charge. Like, if they figure it out, good luck. Good luck trying to beat this team. You'd have mismatches galore with this team. Who's guarding Westbrook? Who's guarding Anthony Davis and who's guarding LeBron James if they figure it out? There's not another team in the league that has three guys that can stop all. The, there's not a there's not a team in the league that has multiple guys that can stop even two of these guys. You know, the only guy in the league that could probably that you could argue could stop Anthony Davis is Giannis. Outside of that, that's it. And Giannis can't guard LeBron and Davis and Westbrook. You know, Milwaukee maybe match up the best because you got Drew Holiday, you got Middleton, and you got Giannis. I would take this big three if they figured it out and they're healthy over the Bucks' big three. You know, I think Westbrook is an overall better player than Drew Holiday. I think LeBron is an overall better player than Chris Middleton. And then I do think Giannis is better than Anthony Davis. But there you go. Like, we have two, you have one. So, like, I just, I, I don't think we can write off this team. I just don't. You know, maybe it's a total disaster again. You know, maybe these three just implode. Davis can't stay healthy, Westbrook can't figure it out, LeBron James is just fed up and done and just jacking up threes like he was last season. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. And that's my whole mindset is, I don't know, let's wait and see. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think that uh, this team is going to figure out? you think this team's going to work? Do you think they're going to be good? Do you think that they're going to be a disaster? Uh... Do you have faith? Do you not? Are you trying to be optimistic? However you feel. Whatever you think. I'd really love to hear your thoughts and opinions 
on this team, on this Lakers team, and uh, primarily these three. Because look, we're going to go as far as these three take us. If, if these three figure it out and are healthy, and these three can get us to the playoffs, and if things are looking good, I, I'll take our chances. There's not a team in the Western Conference outside of like the Warriors and maybe the Clippers that I look at that go, man, we might have a hard time beating them. Any Every other team in the West, I am not worried about. Denver, Dallas, none of them. I'm not worried about any of those teams. The only team that I am that I have some concern with are the Warriors, because they're the Warriors, and the Clippers. But the Clippers can't stay out. We might not even have to worry about the Clippers by the time the second round comes. You know, like, so if we can make it out of the first round, we might be good. You know, if we run into a Clippers team, they might not even be there or, you know, or anything. So that's the thing. I, I just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I like how we match up against teams. We are absolutely short at the wing position. I think we got great guard play. We got great big play. It's just the wing position. Um, but hopefully we can we can cover that by committee. Got guys like Walker that's got some good wing spans. I don't know. I think it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. But anyway, again, I already feel love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the quick little shameless plug, everyone. If you enjoy my videos and commentary here on this channel, as it stands, Lakers, then check out the link down in the description below and go subscribe to As It Stands. Believe it or not, As It Stands was the first channel. If it wasn't for that channel, this channel would never have existed. Because of the success of that channel, it led me to want to create this Lakers channel. So do me a huge solid if you're not subscribed over there. Go check that out. Go subscribe over there. I talk all things sports, uh, all teams, things like that, not just the Lakers. So if you just enjoy my commentary and want to hear me talk about other things, or you just, you know, are a fan of other sports and other teams, go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.